What's up everybody, it's the Pokey Office. Woo! I'm here with my two pals, Kyle and Josh. We're on our way to Seattle, go. going to the Funko store, and then trying to find some Pokemon, what are they called? Vending machines, baby. Who's so, get ready, here's the video. So finally, after a long day of driving, we've arrived in Everett, Washington. We're at the Funko store, about a block away, about to walk. Here we go. Okay, we just got to the Fred Myers in Everett. It is pouring rain outside and supposedly there is a Pokemon vending machine in this Fred Myers. So let's go take a look. Okay, so we got the Deoxys boxes, the Regilecki boxes, we got the tins, and we got the Verizian box. None of the prices look that good. We also got the Pokeballs here and some packs. And then in the case we have, these are actually some pretty good prices, $4.49 for Evolving Skies, uh, the tins, there's a Charizard UPC. All right, so no Pokemon vending machine in the Fred Myers in Everett. They had a little bit of a selection, but not enough to make it worth it for me, saving my money. And we're just on our way to the next potential Pokemon vending machine. Here we go. Okay, I phoned ahead on this one. We're at a new Fred Myers, and they said they have one. So let's go in and take a look. All right, let's take a look. Ooh, 3 dollars for Sword and Shield. I need to cut back. Evolving skies. Well, that might be a problem. All right. What should we get? Ooh, Kyle's holding my phone. What should we get? I feel like we need to get it. I'm tempted to get this. Even though I have one already. That's 15. Who cares? I have to get this, for sure. 10 more. And... Or... I don't have a huge budget, but we could get shiny face as well. Elite trainer box. I like it. $100? That's it, let's do one item. The other 11 are coming. Is it gonna do it for each one? I don't think so, I think it'll do all 10. Oh, maybe. Is it doing it for each one? <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> one at a time. All right, boys, we're gonna wait a little bit. Can't believe 11 items takes half an hour. I was kind of expecting it to be like an actual vending machine with like you could see the stuff in it. Yeah. You heard it folks, Colin thinking it's a real vending machine. That you could see it.
You wanna buy any more? Well, I wanna buy another Celebrations box, but... Okay, so I'm finally back from my trip to Seattle. We went to the Pokemon vending machine. We got 10 packs of Evolving Skies, still searching for that alt art. And I have this ETB of Shining Fates, never opened before, so super pumped about that as well. Let's get into these packs. I'm gonna start with Evolving Skies, and then we'll get into the ETB. Can we finally do it? A lot of my recent videos have been Evolving Skies, just searching, 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 searching. And still nothing lately, but you never know what can happen. We got, I just skipped one, Woobat, Eevee, Temple, Cutie Fly, something right off the bat? No, well, Galarian Zapdos. I guess we have a Hollow, so that's a first hit. Um, not what we're looking for, though. Okay, Palpatode, Crustle, Moon and Sun Badge, Lillipop, Nicket, Bergmite, Roggenrola, Flabebe, Carvana, Flapple. So yeah, it, uh, the trip was awesome. We don't have Chick-fil-A in Canada, so that's always awesome to go there. Uh, I started off my collection journey with Funkos. That's what you see in front of me. So that was always cool. I think I've been there four or five times now. It's about a... It's about a six hour drive from where I live to get there, so it made a pretty full weekend, um, but lots of fun. We got Stormy Mountains and a Zorark. So we have two hollows out of three packs, but not the type of hollows that we're searching for. A pretty fun trip though. Seattle's always cool and nice to get out of the snow. It was like, I'm in Celsius, so it's not gonna make any sense, but uh, it was, I don't know, 30 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than where I'm at, so that's pretty nice. No snow on the ground. It was really rainy. Shift green on hollow. Um, but yeah, really, really fun. We made a trip of it as well, so my buddy Josh had some Funko stuff that he got. We. I don't know, explored a little bit of Seattle for a bit, stayed the night, and then drove home the next day. By the time everything is settled, it took about eight hours, so each way. So eight hours on Saturday, eight hours on Sunday, so quite a long day. We've got a Ribombi into a Goler. We pulled that one last time. Come on now. I also feel like my camera setup today is a little bit funny, so sorry about that in advance. Fixed. But can't stop pulling the cards, baby. And this was a good deal. These cards, Canadian, are going for $11. So something like $8 US. And still um, These were $4 US, $3.99 at the Pokemon vending machine. So couldn't pass up a couple more chances to pull some Evolving Skies. These packs are really nice and tightly sealed. The cards feel really good. So now it's just a matter of hitting something. And I'm also really pumped. I got the Shining Fates ETB right beside me, ready to open it after these 10 packs. Tropius. I hate this card, by the way. I don't know why. I just really don't like it. <laughs> Um, Shining Fates, never have I opened Shining Fates before, so really looking forward to that one. Um, I'll have to look at the book because I actually don't even know really what I'm going to be looking for in Shining Fates, so that'll be an adventure in and of itself. We got Pyroar, Ursaring, Swoobat, Sableye, Reap, Teddy Ursa, Tentacool, Zerua, Chinchow. Oh, baby. Arctivish V, that's a full art that I did not know existed. That's nice. That's nice. Man, my uh, blood was starting to pump a little bit there with the silver border. I'm gonna be honest, but that's a nice hit. Cool looking card, actually, a little off center. Two packs left of Evolving Skies. At least we got something. 
I'd like to get another, another something. But the silver borders always make my heart pound a little faster. My stomach goes in my chest a little bit. Get Monchan, low tag, shift three. That's good. Turffield Stadium Gold. Okay. Once again, not exactly what I'm after, but I will take that all day long. Very nice. That in a top loader. Gold card from Evolving Skies. What number is that? 234. Sick. All right. Well, last pack is things have started to heat up a little bit. Once again, not the alt art, but uh, dang. All right. So last pack of Evolving Skies. Gotten a couple uh, decent hits here. We got a Lantern. And I'm hoping there's one more hit back here because that would be absolutely sick. Blue Bat, Gossifler, Feebas, Hippopotas, Lilypup, Rufflet. Nothing. Seismato, non-hollow rare. Okay, so real quick, I'll be back, changing the camera, and I'm gonna open up the Shining Fates. Okay, we got our Shining Fates ETB. Really pumped about this. Like I said earlier, I've never opened this before, so it's looking pretty cool. I like the artwork. Eevee kind of looks pretty fat, but uh, really nice. Let's quickly take a look at the book here. Shining Fates. The Elite Trainer Box comes with a great combination. Congrats on stepping up your game to the Elite level. Okay. I just want to see the cards that we can pull in this pack here real quick. So there's a Cinderace card, looks pretty cool. Uh, the Ditto looks pretty cool. got all like the baby shinies which is pretty cool. Well, really cool actually. And here's where we want. We all know that the Charizard VMAX is the card that we're looking for. Um, I really like the Lapras cards too to be honest with you. Toxtricity pretty cool. The Ditto is pretty cool. Uh, but the Charizard is what we're looking for. So let's try and pull it. Okay, take out this divider. Ooh, we got the Eevee. I didn't know this came in there. That is nice. I like that. I like it a lot. Okay, we got our card sleeves. Also cool. Very nice. And of course we got our energy. We got the dividers, the EV. Yeah, same artwork as on the box. Here is the code card for you all. Oh, smash the camera. Got our little card game trading rules. Cool. We got the dice, they're brown, which is kind of weird. The counters, and then we got our packs. That's it. All right, here's the packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packs. Okay, we got ten packs. Here we go. First time opening Shining Fates. We got Energy, Rusted Shield, Rotom, Floatzel, Pico, Cacnea, Choodle. Gossifler, Snog, Cacnea, Celebi. Pulled the alt art to this in, uh, what was it? Fusion Strike? Can't remember. Fusion Strike or Chilling Rain. But it was absolutely sick. Like Celebi quite a bit. I'd love to pull that Charizard because then you're into the real money, baby. Pico, Horsey, Spinarak. Roll it. Pico again. I literally just pulled it. Restaurant. It's a cool looking card right there. 
cool little uh, hollow type of thing on there. And a Zerud. I don't know if this card's worth any money, but it's got a cool texture on it, so I'm going to sleeve it up anyways. strange texture on them compared to your standard. I don't know what's going on, but I love it. Shooter, Eevee, Nicket. Ooh, there's something back there. Horsey Snom. Trip Pinch. Probat V. And my camera work was not very good. Sorry about that. Nice looking card right there. Okay. We are fully into the Shining Fates. So let me know in the comments below, have you ever been to Seattle to the Funko store or to a Pokemon vending machine? It was cool, like I don't know if, well the prices were actually decent on some of the stuff. Some of the stuff is hard to find. Uh, so I'd probably go again. I've been to the Funko store lots and Seattle is a pretty cool city. so. Got boss's orders, non hollow. So I'd say definitely worth a look if you've never been. Seattle's definitely worth a look. It's a pretty cool city. Home of Starbucks. We had a lot of Starbucks on the trip. Eldegoss, Luxio, Trapinch, Yanma, Coffin, Morpico, Horsey. Barascuda, there is a shiny. And we got a Volcanion. So we got the shiny Barascuda. It's a cool looking card. I really like the shiny texture feel to it. Don't know if you can see that on the camera, but even like the blue part here has a bit of a texture to it, which is kind of cool. All right. We're about halfway through Shining Fates. Let's get that Charizard. Woozle, Shanks, Coffin, Trapinch, Rolex, Nicket, Indeedy. That's a hollow. Not good enough. We want the Charizard or the Lockers. I'd totally take the Lockers. Either the V or the VMAX totally would take either one of those. The Ditto would be really cool. Uh, there's a lot of cards I'd take, honestly. But let's get a hit, at least. Let's get a hit. More Pico, Cacti, Corsi, Phalanx, Full Art. There we go. That's a shiny. And into a Yan Mega. Also, cool looking card right here. I love the, the yellow stars on it. Like to make it seem like a shiny. It's pretty cool. We're moving on up. We got three packs of shine fates left. Have you guys seen a bunch of shining fates? Have you opened shining fates? Tell me in the comments what is your favorite card. I'm pretty sure most people are gonna say the Charizard, because it is pretty cool. But you never know. Maybe there's something like the Lapras, the Ditto. I don't know, something that I missed maybe. I went through that book pretty fast. We got Cacti in reverse. Zerud again. Another Zerud. Two packs left. Let's hit something spectacular. What do you think? Okay. Come on. Ball guy. That's a little bit strange. Cramorant. My cards are falling over. Beside me here, roll it. More Peko. More Pico, more Peko, Nicket, Eevee, Rillaboom. And boss's orders. Non hollow. Okay, last pack. Last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? I don't know if we can or not. We'll have to see. Flacky, Tropius. Eevee, Gossifler, Choodle, 
Marpeco. Pulls a lot of Marpecos. Cacnea. Phal oh my goodness. You doubled down on the Phalanx. And into a Oh wow. That's kind of a choke. I'm going to be honest with you. The double Phalanx. Shiny. I mean... Two of them in the same booster box? Seriously? Come on, Pokemon. Okay, not a bad video. Thanks for watching. Uh, it was a great time going to Seattle, down to the Funko store, down to the Pokemon vending machines, checking it all out. And we opened 10 packs of Evolving Skies where we got, what did we get? We got an Arctivish, the full art, and we got a Golurk. And then from the Shining Fates, we got the promo card, EV VMAX, cool looking card. We got a Crobat. We got a shiny Barascuda. I don't even know what this is. Just a rush around, but it's got a cool texture to it. We also got this from Evolving Skies. I forgot to mention it. Turf Field Stadium. Turf Field Stadium. And then, shocker, we got two shiny Phalanx V full art cards. Looking cool, but I would have loved to see something other than two back to back of the same card. Anyways, this is the Pokey Office. Thanks for stopping by. My name's Colin. I'll be here all week. You can stop by anytime, and I will see you on my next video.